Imagine a substance that defies conventional classification, simultaneously exhibiting the rigidity of a solid and the fluidity of a liquid. This enigmatic state of matter known as a supersolid has captivated physicists for decades. Supersolids challenge our intuitive understanding of the physical world. How can something be both rigid and flowing? The answer lies in the realm of quantum mechanics. In a supersolid, atoms are arranged in a fixed, periodic structure akin to a crystal lattice. This ordered arrangement imparts solidity to the material. However, unlike conventional solids, a fraction of the atoms in a supersolid can flow without any resistance. This frictionless flow, characteristic of superfluids, arises from the collective behavior of atoms governed by quantum mechanics. The concept of supersolidity was first proposed in the 1960s. However, creating and observing this exotic state of matter proved to be an immense challenge. It was not until 2004 that physicists reported the first experimental evidence of supersolidity in ultra-cold atomic gases. These groundbreaking experiments provided a glimpse into this bizarre quantum phenomenon. The study of supersolids has since become a vibrant area of research in condensed matter physics. Scientists are eager to understand the underlying mechanisms driving supersolidity and to explore its potential applications. The recent creation of supersolid light marks a significant milestone in this quest, opening up new avenues for investigating this intriguing state of matter. For the first time, scientists have successfully created a supersolid state using light. This groundbreaking achievement, published in the prestigious journal, has sent ripples of excitement throughout the scientific community. The creation of supersolid light not only confirms theoretical predictions, but also offers a new platform for studying this elusive state of matter. Previous attempts to create supersolids have relied on ultra-cold atomic gases cooled to temperatures near absolute zero. While these experiments provided valuable insights, they are complex and require sophisticated equipment. The use of light to create a supersolid offers a simpler and more versatile approach. The key to creating supersolid light lies in the use of quasi-particles called polaritons. Polaritons are hybrid particles that are part light and part matter. They are formed when photons, the fundamental particles of light, strongly interact with excitons, which are bound states of an electron and a hole in a semiconductor material. By confining and manipulating polaritons within a specially designed semiconductor structure, researchers were able to coax them into forming a supersolid state. This breakthrough opens up exciting possibilities for studying supersolidity in a more controlled and accessible manner. The creation of supersolid light is the culmination of years of research and collaboration among a team of brilliant scientists. Leading the charge were Dimitris Tripogiorgos and Daniele Sanvito, both affiliated with the National Research Council in Italy. Their expertise in photonics and condensed matter physics proved instrumental in guiding the project to success. Antonio Gianfat, also from CNR Nanotech, played a crucial role in developing the theoretical framework for the experiment. His deep understanding of light-matter interactions provided the foundation for understanding the behavior of polaritons in the experimental setup. Davide Negro, a talented physicist from the University of Pavia, brought his expertise in experimental techniques to the team. His meticulous attention to detail and ability to troubleshoot complex experimental challenges were essential for realizing the creation of supersolid light. The combined efforts of these researchers, along with the contributions of other team members, have not only advanced our understanding of supersolidity, but have also paved the way for future discoveries in this rapidly evolving field. Section 4 Illuminating the path to supersolidity, the experimental setup. The experimental setup used to create supersolid light is a testament to human ingenuity and precision engineering. At the heart of the experiment lies a meticulously crafted gallium arsenide semiconductor structure. 
This structure serves as a stage where photons and excitons interact to form polaritons. The gallium arsenide structure is not just any ordinary piece of semiconductor. It is adorned with microscopic ridges that act as tiny waveguides, confining and guiding the photons within the material. These waveguides ensure that the photons interact strongly with the excitons, leading to the formation of polaritons. A laser beam is then focused onto the gallium arsenide structure, injecting photons into the material. As the photons interact with the excitons, they form a cloud of polaritons that behaves like a quantum fluid. The microscopic ridges in the semiconductor structure create a periodic potential that influences the behavior of the polaritons. By carefully controlling the intensity and wavelength of the laser beam, the researchers were able to tune the interactions between the polaritons. At a critical point, the polaritons spontaneously ordered themselves into a periodic spatial pattern while maintaining their ability to flow without resistance. This unique combination of properties confirmed the creation of a supersolid state of matter using light. Section 5. A quantum leap significance and future implications. The creation of supersolid light is more than just a scientific curiosity. It represents a significant leap forward in our understanding of quantum mechanics and opens up exciting possibilities for future technologies. Firstly, supersolid light offers a new and more accessible platform for studying supersolidity. Unlike ultra-cold atomic systems, which require extremely low temperatures, supersolid light can be created and manipulated at much higher temperatures, potentially even at room temperature. This could lead to a surge in research on supersolids, accelerating our understanding of this bizarre state of matter. Secondly, supersolid light has potential applications in quantum computing. Quantum computers rely on the principles of quantum mechanics to perform calculations that are impossible for classical computers. Supersolid light could be used to create stable qubits, the building blocks of quantum information, which are notoriously fragile and susceptible to environmental noise. Finally, supersolid light could pave the way for advances in optical technologies. The ability to manipulate light at the quantum level could lead to the development of faster and more efficient photonic devices, revolutionizing fields such as telecommunications, data processing, and sensing. The future of supersolid light research is bright. Scientists are already working on ways to refine their control over light-based supersolids, aiming to stabilize and manipulate them for use in practical applications. The journey has just begun, and the discoveries that await us at the intersection of light and matter promise to be nothing short of revolutionary.